Here's how to mirror iPhone to TV, Mac, and PC. We'll share the top apps and methods right now so that you can start screen mirroring on iPhone quickly and easily. There's lots of different reasons or use cases for you wanting to do this, from just wanting to view your phone screen on a bigger screen, right through to recording videos or making tutorials. So we're gonna start off by looking at mirroring your phone screen over onto a computer. And this first method I've got for you is already built into a Mac. So yes, this first one is Mac only. So on an iPhone, all we need to do is swipe down from the top right hand corner here. And what we're looking for down the bottom here is this screen mirroring icon. If you're not seeing that in here, then we might need to enable that first. So just come down to settings, then down to control center. And then you wanna find down the bottom here, screen mirroring and hit the plus on that so that it is now in our control center back on that main page. So now we can come back here, we can swipe down for that. We can then see we've got mirroring here. We can press on that. And then it's gonna show any other Mac computers that are on your current network. So this will work if both your phone and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. We then wanna select that computer. And you can see then it has straight away taken over the computer screen with our phone screen. And you can see that there's really next to no delay here as well. So we then open up an app that we wanted to share, maybe YouTube. Uh, start playing a video and you can see that it's now playing full screen on our device here and we're able to control it from our phone. And you can see this is gonna work with most games and apps out there too. Now, one thing to note is that this hasn't just taken over one of my laptop screens. It's actually taken over, if we zoom out here, this has taken over all of my computer screens here. So this is a good method if you're just looking to mirror your phone screen without any recording capabilities. There is the option to select which screen you wanna to share to. So I could pick my screen over here and that's now transferred to this screen, but there's nowhere near the level of flexibility and control that you'll have with the next option. So the next option isn't just limited to Mac only, it's using a piece of software that works on Mac and Windows that's called Reflector. And so let you mirror your iPhone or Android device over onto your Mac or PC. So it really works across the board. So I'm over on the Reflector website now, you can see straight away here it says, AirPlay, Google Cast and Miracast all together for your computer. And it says up here, it's a powerful wireless screen mirroring and media streaming software. So you wanna come at the top here, you wanna download Reflector. You can see again, there's versions here for Mac and for Windows. I'm gonna download the Mac version here, but the process is exactly the same on Windows. Then over here on iPhone, we wanna swipe down from the top to access the control center, find our little shortcut here for screen mirroring, press on that. Now this time we get two options. We get our MacBook Pro here, but we also get Reflector, which is this top one, RF4. So we're gonna choose Reflector. You'll then see it's gonna prompt us here for a pin code for security reasons. So we can type that in, press okay. And we can then see that the screen mirroring has happened. We can see that this is pretty close to real time here. There's a very short delay, but we can see as well, that this is gonna work in both portrait and landscape and the quality is great. So Reflect is a great option, not just for mirroring your phone screen, but it's also great for recording as well. There's built-in recording capabilities and there's also a bunch of other options and controls and things to help you get the most out of it. So if we jump over here to settings, then down to preference, then we can see that we've got our connection options in here where we can specify what resolution or quality we want to be bringing in. We've also got our recording qualities and things over here as well. So you can see we can specify recording quality up to very high and even a frame rate for recording up to 60 frames per second. We also have the ability to do recordings in here with not just our phone screen, but we can also enable webcam and microphone, which is great if you're gonna be creating tutorial style content too. But it is worth noting because this connection here is over Wi-Fi that you can have some lag or some delay if your Wi-Fi signal strength isn't that good. So it's likely not gonna be a deal breaker, but it's definitely something you'll wanna be aware of. Now, in regards to pricing, Reflector isn't free, but it is ridiculously cheap. You can grab a free trial version of the app here for seven days for you to test it out. But then to use it beyond that point and to unlock all the features and functionality, that's where you will need to purchase it for $19.99, either as a Windows license or a 
a Mac license, or they've also got a special here where you can purchase a universal license for a few dollars more that will work on both Windows and Mac. So again, incredibly cheap considering what you're getting access to. Now, if you're looking to mirror your phone screen over to a TV, then a lot of TVs these days do have built-in AirPlay and screen mirroring capabilities already built in. So it is worth doing a quick Google search for your specific make and model to see if it does have that functionality already. If not, you could purchase something like an Apple TV device, which will give you that functionality. And from there, you will be able to easily cast or mirror your phone screen to your TV. And the process is very much the same. You'll again wanna open up that control center on your iPhone, scroll down until you're seeing the mirroring option. Your TV or your device will show up in there. And when you select it, it's going to start that mirroring for you. Again, this is worth knowing that this is still happening over Wi-Fi, which is obviously convenient, but if you need the highest quality screen mirroring or you don't wanna deal with any potential lag or issue with Wi-Fi, then it is possible to directly connect your iPhone to TVs and screens as well over HDMI. Now to do this, you'll need to likely purchase an adapter, either lightning to HDMI adapter or a USB-C to HDMI adapter, depending on which phone you're using. Now, if it is one of the newer iPhones that has USB-C, you might find a regular USB dongle is gonna work fine that has HDMI capabilities already. Then it's just a matter of connecting the adapter to your phone Phone and running an HDMI cable to your TV or screen, and that screen mirroring is going to happen automatically for you without you needing to do anything. So again, this is a great option if you want the highest quality with minimal delay or minimal lag without needing to worry about any potential Wi-Fi interference or dropped signal or anything like that, with the downside being that you're going to be physically connected to your bigger screen. And the other thing to note with this method is obviously this is more for viewing your screen, mirroring your screen than any recording capability abilities as you're not going to be going through a computer or anything with this method. So that's how easy it is right now to mirror your iPhone screen to different devices. As always, we've got a bunch of other links and resources down in the description box below to help you even further. Check out the videos that are linked on screen that YouTube is suggesting for you, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.